Hey, how you doing? It's Kwa here. Uh, in this video, I'm going to share with you my review of Jordan Belfort's Straight Line Persuasion System. So let's go. <music> to be honest, I was very, um, I was very skeptical in terms of um, studying this material because you know, as you know, Jordan Belfort, he, you know, he went through quite a bit, right? You, you, you probably watched the movie Wolf of Wall Street, you probably become inspired, but you've seen a lot of the, the scary things behind this system because this guy is responsible for actually scamming, you know, millions of um, dollars from people around the world selling, you know, penny stocks. And he made lots of money. He made over about 200 million or something. And, um, you know, it's, it's enough to say, you know, this guy's a con man. He was arrested. There's a lot of bad things associated with Jordan Belford, so let's face it. So with Jordan Belford, you know, I hesitated to learn his material just because of that, because it's against my values. Other people are doing seminars with him and they're all, you know, worshipping him and stuff. But, you know, I'm a big fan of Grant Cardone because I interviewed Grant Cardone and he says, you know, you want to stay, uh, you want to stay ethical. Right, you want to stay ethical because karma, you, karma always comes back and gets gets you. So that's that's the thing that I've always learned. But however, I, I decided to take a chance. Don't kill the messenger, you know. Just go after the message. So I always believe in just trying to learn the message, and don't worry about the messenger, and try to use the information in a good way. Right. So don't stay ethical and just try and learn what he did to generate so much success in sales and apply it into your own life, but in a good way. It's not as detailed as Grant Cardone's Sales Training University because Grant Cardone goes really detailed in terms of follow-up, man managing objections, the psychology, the mindset, how to do follow-up. There's a lot of stuff. There's actually more stuff in Grant Cardone's sales training material. In Jordan Belfort's one, he's only got a few modules and he covers the, the big key topics in those modules. So that's the thing behind the system is that it's only a few modules, but it's the big stuff and you can actually really use it. So... So that's being said, let's have a look at it. Number one, the big takeaway I got was uh, selling through a straight line. So he, he draws a diagram where it's just a uh, start to finish. You start at the open and you finish at the end, which is the promised land. And obviously that's when you get paid. That's when you close a deal and so forth. And he talks about, you got to sell through this straight line. So this is your system and you want to keep, you want to stay f uh, focused on this line towards the end. You know, you don't want to um, be off in a tangent where you pick up the phone, you talk to him and then, you know, 20 minutes have gone by and you're just talking to the person and you're not really going anywhere. And that's what tends to happen. You try and build too much rapport and then you forget the sale and that's it. You know, you've lost the person. So John Belford talks about you want to keep the prospect on the straight line. So, and he talks about this thing called the three tenets of selling. So the three tenets of selling is when you uh, you have to focus on these three key principles when you're selling through the straight line system. So number one is that you've got to build rapport. So number one, you always have to build rapport with the people on the phone or in person, because if you don't build rapport, they're not going to give you information. They're not going to like you. No matter what you do, they're not going to be happy with you. They just won't open up. They won't buy anything from you. So you always have to build rapport. So as you're going through the straight line system, just make sure that you're building rapport along the way. And then number two, you want to gather intelligence. So when you're gathering intelligence, ask um, lots of really good questions in terms of uh, they're interested in buying a product or service from you. You want to ask them questions about the reason they're buying. Have they bought from anyone else? And have you done anything else uh, with other people? Or what, why is it that you want to get this particular product? There's all these type of things. You want to get as much intelligence as possible, but also um, you want to build rapport along the way, which is really good. I, I highly recommend tip there because you want to keep building rapport get along with the customer, but also gather intelligence, right? And then number three, the third tenet of selling is you want to control the sale by keeping it on the straight line. So so what John Belford means is that as you go on through the straight line, you want to build rapport, you want to gather intelligence, and if you go off on a tangent too much, just bring it back, bring it back to the system, keep talking to them, gather intelligence. And, um, and another big thing is that he, he recommends using tonality. So tonality is the variations of your voice. The thing that I learned, the, the biggest thing I learned in, tonal, in in this course was the power of tonality because you might say something like, hi, this is this is Kwa calling from XYZ company. Uh, you recently inquired about a product uh, last month. Does that ring a bell? Right. How would you respond to that? 
you won't respond that very well because it's very monotone voice. But if you change it, so, hi, how you going? This is Kwa from XYZ Company. You called through last month in regards to product and service. Does that ring a bell? So you notice how it was a tiny little change in tonality, but it derives a response from the prospect. That was a really big thing that I learned um, in the courses. Tonality is actually really powerful. It's not what you say, it's how you say it. And if your tone is really good, you can actually derive a response from the prospect. And you can say all these, you know, these direct questions, but if you wrap it in tonality, you can get away with a lot of things. So um, if you watch the, the part in Wolf of Wall Street, Jordan Belfort, he picks up the phone and he talks to the, to the prospect. And um, you know how he's selling the, the penny stock, Aerotine, and that, that's a funny one. That's one of my favorite scenes, but you notice that he used that tonality and it's a really friendly voice and the guy just is this instant rapport and the person just gives him the you know the the money and that's it but it was just purely it was rapport it was tonality he you kept him on the straight line it was just it was just beautiful and yes it was a scammy thing but you can just see how the whole sale was all wrapped up in that tonality and um, the way he packaged it so that's a really powerful thing that I learned. Uh, another one, there was a really good module in the course called Art of Prospecting, which is focusing on the buyers. So Jordan Belfort talks a lot about how you can actually spend a lot of time wasting your time with the wrong people because if they're not gonna buy, if they don't have money, they're never gonna buy it. No matter how much they like you, you might be able to pour. If they don't have money, then they can't buy from you. Focus a lot on the people who are qualified to buy from you. If they have money, they, uh, have a certain type of requirement or they match your, your ideal market, then spend more time with those people. You know, I always, um, in the past, I always tried to focus too much time on the ones who don't have the money. Just try and, you know, I was like going for the for sale and I was trying to push them, but don't push them. Like there's no point, you're just wasting time. But if you lean on those other ones who are more required, who are more qualified to buy from you, who have money and everything, they're the ones that they're going to, you know, fill out your bank account, so to say. The, the, the prospecting part is make sure, making sure that you focus on the buyers only. Okay, so another one is being a visionary, which is focusing on the solutions. This is a really good module where he talks about the, um, the mindset of salespeople. Uh, there was a really good phrase that he said that really got, got my attention was that wealthy people, they, don't, they only focus on solutions. They don't focus on, on problems or crap. And he said another thing was that if you keep focusing on crap, in your life, right? If you keep focusing on all the crap, you become a crap person. You know, that, that, that's such an amazing phrase because if you think about it, yeah, there's a lot of crap that happens to us, but if you keep focusing on that crap, you're always gonna be getting more crap, right? And it's gonna keep on accumulating and you just become, become a crap person, but you, you will never become wealthy like that. He, he says, don't use the word problem, use the word um, challenges because it's more empowering. So if you come across a challenge, you want to keep focusing on the solution to solve those challenges in your life. And if you keep doing that, you'll just become naturally, just become a better person, more wealthy and so forth. So keep focusing on solutions, not on the, the crap in your life. Uh, this part is really good. So it's called the inner game of sales. You're not, you're not the mistakes of your past. John Belford, he's famous for saying the quote, you are not the bullshit story that you've been giving yourself in the past. So this is all about the inner game. We've all made mistakes in the past, you and me, and uh, we tend to dwell on it. Um, we focus on the crap on that. You know, that can really consume our lives. But if you really want to become a master salesperson, you cannot focus on that stuff. You have to be, you have to have that positive attitude. You have to be optimistic and you cannot focus on the mistakes in your past. You have to keep looking forward and you have to keep taking the person down the straight line system. So um, this is all about the inner game of sales. There's a lot of content in this part there, so I won't go too much into it, but this is a really good one. It focuses all on the psychology and how you truly need to think if you wanna become a master at sales. Um, and another part was that the straight line system, the sales starts with a no. So this is a really good one because a lot of people think that if you pick up the phone, talk to a prospect, pitch something and they say no, you say, okay, no worries, thank you for your time and that's it, you're gone. You, the sale actually starts with a no. When they say no, that's when the sale starts because when they say no, that's when you have to master the objections. Why is it that you're saying no? And then they start giving you, oh, because I've already went with someone else in the past, it didn't really work out. Oh, okay, why is it that didn't work in the past? Oh, because they ripped me off, they spent too much money. Oh, that's a shame. You know, like I, I totally appreciate, I totally understand that. Certainly I can imagine how you feel that way. Like if you just give me a few minutes, I can explain reason how we are different from the people that you've experienced in the past 
and we can really help you in achieving XYZ goal and you don't have to go through that same pain and frustration as before. Sounds fair enough? And that's it. Yeah, sure, no worries. So you notice how I turned that objection from a no to you know something where they're interested now and then I build a conversation, keeping them on the straight line. So um, so that's the thing with, with sales is that sales starts with a no. Don't give up when they give you a no. And, and that's the thing, you gotta keep going through all these no's to get to a yes. The biggest secret of sales was that like a tipping, it's like a tipping scale where they, they throw you an objection, right? And, and you knock it off, right? And, and, and you're talking again and they throw you something else, you knock it off. So it's like that, like as you're going through the straight line system, they throw you something, knock it off. They throw you something else, knock it off and just keep pushing through the line, knock it off, knock it off, knock it off. And then you tip the scales on your favor. And um, there's a lot of st other stuff he talks about, but it's really interesting because um, if you just imagine you're going down the straight line, they throw your objection, you knock that one off, and there's something else you want to build your case, and then you build rapport when they gather intelligence, they might throw your objection, knock that one off, and then just keep doing it. So, so that's the whole essence of the straight line system is to keep you focused, to build rapport, gather intelligence, be sharp as attack, just keep staying focused on going from start to the promised land, which is closing the deal. And this course is a really good course, to be honest. Uh, it was only about four or five, no, sorry, it was about five or six modules. I think it's about four hours long, I believe, or four or five hours long. It's him in the seminar. Good course that shows you the overall strategy behind sales, which is really good. But what is missing is the technical details because he doesn't go too much into detail in actually handling an objection. There is no system in handling an objection. There is no system in follow-up. There's no system in prospecting. John Belford goes through the all overall structure of sales, but he won't go into a lot of the itsy bitsy details. But with Grant Cardone Sales Training Material, Sales, sales Training University, Grant Cardone goes through everything. And um, I've been through his system and you know I've applied it and it does work. John Belford, his stuff is, is good and um, it's really solid. And I highly recommend for you to uh, go through it. It's not the end all course. I don't believe it's the end all course but it does have a lot of gold in it that you can add to your weapons of sales or add to your arsenal when you're going out there trying to close deals. And as a master salesperson, you have to keep learning. You gotta keep learning, you gotta keep reading the books, and you gotta keep adding more content to your brain, and you gotta keep learning more about sales. So highly recommend this course by John Belford. Yeah, so if you like this video, please uh, subscribe to my channel at uh, UB Relentless, or go to my website, ubrelentless.com. Uh, I also have a free book called The Seven Ways to Increase Your Sales Without Cold Calling. Uh, just go to thesalesoctopus.com and I'll just send it over to you for free. So I hope you like this video and um, I'll see you guys in the next one.